We are from Solon Middle School, and welcome to Think, Make, Innovate. Hey, Amber. Amber, where, uh, where you at? Hey, I'm up here. Hey, what, what the heck are you doing up there? How'd you get up there anyway? Hey, what are you doing? And why are you so small? I worked with some students at Solon Middle School on retelling fairy tales using green screen. Did you know that in the green screen app by doing, you can resize yourself? It's easy to resize yourself. Just pinch your fingers together to make yourself smaller. Or spread your fingers apart to make yourself larger. And make multiples of yourself. Whoa, I need to try this out. I would get so much more done if there were multiples of me. This is so cool. And to multiply yourself, all you need to do is to shoot a video of yourself and use it as a backdrop in a new video. Repeat as many times as necessary. All right, all right, enough of this. This is a little bit more like a nightmare than a fairy tale. Okay, okay. So after watching these students from Solon try their hand at some movie magic, we encourage you to create your own set of green screen special effects. Use the green screen to put your own take on a fairy tale or write a new fairy tale yourself. And as always, have, have fun, fun making. making. We challenge you to create green, a green screen, screen fairy tale. Go ahead. Uh, we're doing a green screen video and we're telling a folk tale using it. Now we're doing the three little pigs. To prepare for this project, we gathered a team together and we wrote a script. We also then uh, made costumes to go along with the characters. We also had a group of people working out in the drawing the background and drawing things for the play. Okay, so what we just did is we took the house and did a separate video shot and then we're going to take our actor and have him blowing away the house and we're going to use the technology to like kind of like upsize the house and downsize the actor and then we also took a slow-mo shot to see which one will work better and we have not decided yet but it did pretty well. One morning, Mom and Peg called the little pig to her and said,
One morning, Mommy Pig called her three little pigs to her and said, I have something to tell you. I love you guys very much, but you're big pigs now, so it's time for you to go on and make your own homes. So the three little pigs packed their things and went to build their new houses. But watch out for the big bad wolf. The first little pig found a pile of straw. Hey look, I found some straw. Maybe I can use this to build my house. And the wolf won't see me anymore. So the other two left and kept looking for materials to build their homes out of. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Later, the second pig found some sticks. The big bad wolf never be able to get in a house made of these. So the third little pig left all alone. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of my chin, chin, chin. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The third little pig kept walking until he found an old brick home that no one had lived in for a long time. The big bad wolf could never get into a house made out of these. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> 